welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft today's special adventure continues in the legion expansion and i'm so happy you guys are loving the legion videos thank you guys for all the love and support you've been showing lately with all the comments and everything it's just been so uplifting we hit over 7,000 subscribers so <laughs> I am ecstatic right now. I can't wait to get to 10,000. Like we're climbing every day and I'm just, ah, I'm so grateful, overjoyed. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been making that happen and making this channel happen and be possible. Today, we are actually on a fresh new demon hunter. I'm only level, let's see, I'm only level 18. And uh, today we're going to be going out of bounds in the demon hunter artifact quest. Uh, where it's the one where it's called the vengeance will be ours. We're going to fly to the quote unquote broken shore scenario and we're going to be getting out of bounds. And there's actually some very interesting things there. Now I actually had filmed this video a few months back, but the footage got messed up. So I wasn't able to save it and I'm excited because I get to redo it and we get to see everything fresh and uh, get to see everything for the first time again. So come and join me as we head to the Broken Shore for the artifact scenario for the Demon Hunter. I'll see you guys there. Is that you? Finally, some good news. Your inventory left me for dead. The fool! My wounds are severe. I fear you must push ahead alone. All right, guys, welcome to the Broken Shore scenario for the Demon Hunter artifact weapons. I'm super excited. I can't wait to explore the island with all of you. Now, I have brought out my fail saber. I thought it was only an uh, appropriate mount for this adventure because we are playing a Demon Hunter in the artifact scenario. And I thought, you know what? Let's play our fail saber. <laughs> uh, I did have to go get a stinky bright potion because I wanted to light up the map so you guys can see the out of bounds area here. And uh, I'm excited to go explore because if I remember correctly, there's actually some really neat stuff outside the scenario. And why that is, I have no idea. So some things we're going to see is going to be very interesting. Uh, now we need to break out of bounds here. And I think how we're going to do that is not go that way because we're going to get teleported. <laughs> so what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to have to go along the cliff side here. Uh, so let's actually unmount. There we go. Oops. Okay. Come on. All right. Let's unmount and let's start heading up the mountain here. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a ton of walls that stop you. And so we're just going to have to put a lot of pillows down. And what I might have to do is actually just get through this area and then completely uh, come back to you guys because it's going to take me a minute to adventure up here. And uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to adventure up. Oop. Okay. And I'm already kind of failing here too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is going to be a interesting one because I'm going to have to like go off cooldowns, go back on cooldowns. So I think what we're going to do Ah, uh, we just barely didn't make it. Yeah, so let me actually... Um, I'm going to head... I need to head over here. That's where we're going to get out of bounds. Because the whole scenario, quote-unquote, only takes a part in like this little part of the island. You don't even get to explore the rest of it. But because we're breaking out of bounds, we're obviously going to explore it. So I will be right back. I'm going to go use my pillows and get over here. And then I will meet you guys over there once I get over there. Because that's going to be the fun part. So be right back. All right, everyone, we have officially made it to the other side of the Broken Shore. As you can tell, I am officially out of bounds. Um, so where I started was all the way back over here in the beginning, came up the hill. 
going from here to here to here to here to here is a bunch of walls so you're gonna have to use your pillows the toys that you have to get through them and eventually you will get past everywhere and you will get over here on the other side so i'm very excited to go explore let's go take a look around and see what the broken shore scenario artifact place has to offer it's actually pretty big out here and there's actually a lot to see so let's uh let's go fly out this way and let's go see what we can find oh gosh we are hitting another wall so we actually may need another pillow before we actually get completely out but let's see if we can actually fly out or just go this way completely and i'm curious to see if we can drop down here maybe oh there okay so we are getting stopped our pillow is almost back we got another couple minutes here um Okay, so I thought that we were past all the walls, but I guess not, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait just a few seconds. So give me one minute as the pillow comes off cooldown, and uh, we'll be right on the other side. All right, we are officially back, and we have made it to the other side of the Broken Shore, and I believe we have finally passed all the walls, and hopefully this will stay. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can go about exploring this map. We can either go left or we can go right. And I think we're going to go right first. And let's go up this hill over here because I'm it's already piqued my interest. And I'm very curious to see what is over here. So let's get back on our mount and let's go journey up the hill here and see what we can find. Let's go look through this artifact scenario of the Demon Hunter. All right, let's make our way up the hill. Now, something very interesting about this map is... Blizzard does a great job of the smoke and mirrors because we... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, right off the bat, we have found some test models for the Blood Elves. That is really awesome. Look at that. Why did they stick them out here? I guess they thought nobody was ever going to get out here. That is freaking awesome. I never thought that. All right, well, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Wow, that's amazing to me. You know, I, I, I didn't think they would ever keep these models out here, but this is really awesome to see. I mean, this is like unmodeled Blood Elves, and I wonder if this is actually an early version of the Demon Hunters that they were trying to pull off too. If anybody knows information on these people, please let me know, because this is already starting right off the bat. Very interesting of what we're already finding out here of the out of bounds scenario here. Wow, this is awesome. Check that out. I wonder if there's more. Let's keep walking forward. I'm curious to see. Oh, there is. Look at that. So there's one, two, three, four, five of them all together out here. Wow, and they're all just lined up. Now I'm curious to see what else is out here as well. I bet you we're going to find a lot more. What's really interesting about this place is you can see the Tomb of Sogars out here in the distance. Is actually just a smoke and mirror. It's not a full replica model. They actually cut it off halfway over here in the distance. So I'm excited to go out into the water and see what this looks like from the outside. But just seeing these test models in the distance is already a big treat. Seeing this. Ah, oh man, this is awesome. I wonder if there's actually more. Let's go head down the hill a little more. And let's go see if there's actually any more test models down here. I'm very curious to find out. All right, let's go get back on our mount and let's go take a look and see what we can find. Uh, let's see here. Wow, that's awesome, guys. You know, I didn't expect the models out there, you know, and this looks like this just completely drops off. So I think we're going to get a very unfinished version of the Broken Isles here. A very. Um, oh, that's awesome. dude. Look at that. Let's go take a look over here. So we can actually get under the Tomb of Selgaris and we can see what it's like to see up above here inside the tomb. Man, this is awesome. Look at that. They just like completely cut it off. So I wonder if this is supposed to be early versions of the tomb before they actually fully edit it because uh, it looks like that could be that way. Uh, what I want to get to is I want to get to over here so that we can actually get inside the tomb and see underneath. The only thing that I'm kind of afraid of is like dropping down to a point where we get stuck or we die because we you know getting like a i don't know you know sometimes you get stuck in like those uh uh scenarios where 
you like DC or you're like stuck in the building, but this looks like we can just completely walk through here, which is really awesome. Look at that. I've never actually been inside the tomb before, like underneath it. So this is really awesome to see. So if you guys ever wanted to see what was down here on the broken shore in the retail version, here you go. This is what the tomb looks like from the outside. And you also get this awesome shot of everything. This is freaking amazing. You know, actually, before we continue, I need to get a uh, screenshot here because I need to make a thumbnail for the video and look at all this. You need a couple screenshots here, a couple screenshots here. This is awesome. I definitely want to have this for memories in the future. Now, can we actually just walk straight through this stairway here? And it looks like we can. You can just walk straight. Wow, look at that. So there's actually no portal. This is really cool. And is there anything on the backside, which I'm really curious about? So the uh, usually the door to the or the entrance to the Cathedral of Eternal Night is right here, but it looks like you can't actually go in. Yep. No, they still stop you. So it still does know that the uh, portal entrance is here and you actually miss half of the building here as well. Look at that on the other side. So we get the other view of what everything looks like um, unloaded. It's amazing. This is an awesome OOB so far check that out okay cool cool well this is gonna be an amazing video already and we already found test models outside the map i'm already a happy camper already now i do want to be careful because um as we all know water it can be very dangerous in out of bound scenarios so we do need to be careful going in the water if because i don't know if we can actually swim or not um but we do need to find a place where we can mount up and then just drop down into the water here and I think we can right here. Yep. Okay. So we're actually safe to do so. And uh, let's go take a look and let's go head out this way. So you can see where, where we're on the map. We're down here. The Tomb of Sogars is over here. The Lost Temple of where we were was over here. So normally you actually, how the island is, if you notice the Broken Shore, is it's just the opposite. So it's like flipped upside down in a way. Uh, so we're, we started over here. And then we make our way into here. So we're actually going to go ahead all the way down into here. And I'm very curious to see what else they keep out here. If they keep anything else. But it's very interesting. Alright, let's go check out the um, buildings over here. Looks like they keep some unloaded in textures. Uh, or texture, I should say. I should say um, unloaded in buildings over here. Guys, this is a really fun OOB already, so I'm really happy that we were able to come out here. So they do keep some of the props and everything from the retail map. And it looks like we can actually head up the hill here as well. But look at this awesome shot of the tomb from the outside. Love it. How cool is that? This is awesome already. Ooh. And it looks like the uh, force field barrier going into Suomar. Um, that's awesome. Look at that. So you know the little things that like uh, protect the whole city. So that's really awesome to see. And if we head up here on the hill, we can see that a lot of these textures are here. Are these uh, models. And uh, you can't actually walk through them. But you can get on top of them. So it's just like things that are unloaded in. It's like a... Oh, this is like a weird looking hill here. Let's see if we can get up the hill completely. And I think Monk actually messaged me in chat. Hey Monk, I'm actually filming. <laughs> but you, you're featured in the video, my friend. Uh, let's see here. Let's go up here into the building and let's go get up this way. Let's go see what we can find. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Look at the building just like sticking out of the map here. This is awesome. All right, let's go head up this way. Let's get around this building here. And let's go get to the very top. And let's go see what we can see. All right, so we're going to get an awesome shot of the map. And as you can tell, it's not very big. I mean, they do have this scenario pretty cut down for the most part. But I do love that we brought a 
Now, I'm going to take off my Stinky Bright Potion for a minute, and I want to see the map in its, like, regular, let's see, I guess you could say. So this is what everything looks like. So it does look like the normal Broken Shore as you would normally see it. But this is what everything looks like without the Stinky Bright Potion. So you guys can see that, you know, we are actually on the Broken Shore, and uh, we are in just, like, a different version of it. So let's get back on the Stinky Bright Potion, and I just think that gives a, a way better view than what we actually see so that you guys can see a lot more things. So let's go actually head out this way. I'm curious to see what's on these islands and stuff. If we're already finding test models, what else can we find out here is my question. All right, let's go head out this way. So we just came from the side island over there. That was really fun to see. Let's go see what's back here. Oh, here's one of the soul machines, like you see uh, back on the um, Demon Hunter starting zone. We can definitely go check that out here in a minute, but I'm curious to see if there's anything on this island over here. Most likely, probably not, but it's still um, really fun to go see this out here. So let's go check it out. Trying to be careful. Oh, look at that. There's a ship and a shipwreck over there with the boat and all that. So we can definitely go check that out as well. All right, let's head up over here. So they do keep some of the props, but everything's kind of like in the ground because normally this stuff is supposed to be loaded in uh, in the retail version, but it looks like it's kind of cut off because the whole map doesn't load in completely because I think Blizzard just wants you to have this, like I said earlier, smoke and mirror effect of uh, actually just being in this area of the Lost Temple and you're never supposed to actually see back here. So this is like a lot of fun to be able to see all this stuff over here. Let's go take a look at this shipwreck over here. And I'm curious to see what they're going to keep with the wreck. And I don't know how far we can go, but it looks like there's like a giant island in the back there too. So I'm very curious to see how far this actually goes out. Oh, this is amazing. I wonder if they keep anything hidden back here. Because, you know, they already had those test models. So now I'm curious to see what else is back here. Is there anything on these ships? Okay, so they do keep the flames. Looks like nothing too much. They do keep the whole, like, half the ship back here. And actually, isn't this where you land uh, when you first show up on the Broken Shore? If I'm not remembering correctly or not? I don't remember. Maybe someone can help me on the Legion expansion. Um, cause I know that you show up on the broken shore after you do the, uh, stormwind scenario, taking the boat over here for the Alliance and the horde. And that's when Sylvanas betrays the Alliance, right? And backs off and Gul'dan. Oh, look at this. There's a cave over here. Now I want to go see what's exactly on that Island. So before we go get into the cave and go check that out, let's go head back this way. And I want to go see what is exactly holding this island back here. Look at that. There's a huge island in the distance here. And I have no idea what that is. I'm sorry, monk. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Let's tell monkeys on camera here. All right, we got to get past this fatigue real quick, and we should be able to. It doesn't seem to be that far away. <laughs> I told Monk, hey, you're on film. Say hello. Now I'm curious to see what's back here. <laughs> Monk says hello, everyone. If you guys haven't seen Monk or talked to Monk, really, really nice person. Monk's always hanging out in the ATN Discord, sharing their discoveries, and they actually have their own channel as well, um, which I have posted in here. And definitely go support Monk. Awesome person. You, he does. Uh, Monk actually is like a Exiles Reach OOB expert. So if you ever want to know something about Exiles Reach or how to break out of Exiles Reach or what's around the islands or whatever, go talk to Monk. 
They are like the specialists in Exiles Reach. And they were actually the world's first person to get the, um, from what I know, the, they got their monk, um, all the way up to level 60 without leaving the island. So really cool accomplishment. So good on monk. So if you haven't met monk, go meet monk. Definitely recommend you say hi. Okay. Let's head up here, up the island. And let's see if we can make our way up here. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to climb up here or not. I'm very curious to see. And I don't even know what's up here. Like, what do they keep up here is my curious. And is there an easier way to actually get over here is my question, too. Um, This might be a difficult one to climb. All right. Yeah, I don't know. This might be in... We might need to go around the island first. I don't see, like, an easy way up there yet. So, uh, let's go head out this way. Oh, good. Whew. Well, that's good to know. So, if you guys wanted to know, you can actually swim in this uh, out-of-bounds scenario. So, okay. Well, that's makes me feel a lot better. Because uh, a lot of times, I'm always trying to avoid water. Now, is there a way up this mountain? And I think we can get up right here. What's our char what's our cooldowns looking like? Okay, foul rush is back up, and we drop. Okay, oh, okay. I think we can get in this little pivot here, this crack. There we go. There we go. All right, we're making our way up pretty good now. Man, what is over here? Now this has really piqued my curiosity piqued my interest i guess you could say um okay let's go ahead up over here oh i just failed that so bad that's okay we can all right at least we didn't drop too far down we can redo that real quick all right our next foul rush should be up here in just a second so let's actually attempt that with both foul rushes up and let's just go head up the mountain here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim towards this place right over here because I want to get up this path and then go up the mountain here and see what's over there. So let's go head out here. Nice. We made it. Okay. Good. So let's get back on our mount. This is exciting, guys. I don't know what's actually up here. If there is anything up here. I'm very curious to see. So there is some wreckage over here. Oh, you know what's funny? Speaking about Exiles of Reach... I think this is the same one of the same islands you actually see out in Exiles Reach. Because uh, for those of you who've never done Exiles Reach out of bounds, they take a lot of assets from Stormheim and they actually put them directly out of bounds in Exiles Reach. So I think this is actually one of the islands they put out there as well. And if I remember correct, there's actually not too much to see on the very top here. But it's still really fun to try to get up there. And I think let's try to do that real quick. Shouldn't take too long. A little bit of a adventure here. Now, guys, by the way, after this scenario, I'm going to be working on the other classes because the you know other classes have other artifact weapon scenarios, right? So if I can get out of bounds in every single class, um, I'm definitely going to try my best to do so. Because I have the toys plus the Baikal drinking horn, so I should be able to do it as much as possible with the other classes. Just the only thing with getting out of bounds, it's going to be a little more difficult just because, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to have my mobility as like a demon hunter, but that's okay. We should be able to do it as much as we can. All right, let's get up here and let's see. Okay, so there. Wow, there's like the ship just sticking out the back of the island here. Huh. All right, we're making some good time here. We're getting up pretty quickly. Now we don't have to go all the way to the top, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what was back here. And as you can see, there actually quite is a lot. And look at this ship down here. Let's go check this out. Look at this whole ship just sitting out here. Huh. Uh, you know, I was curious to see if, like, the uh, general chat was actually going to change. But, um, it, it didn't, unfortunately. 
All right, let's go head back towards the shipwreck that we came from. Look at that. We are completely outside the map. Now, unfortunately, the other Legion uh, Demon Hunter Artifact Scenario quest line, you actually just end up um, in here in Suimar, like right over here. And if you try to leave the place, you just end up back in the Broken Isles and it just ends the quest. So, unfortunately, I don't think there's too much to see uh, there. So, not, you know, not too interesting. But uh, this one, at least you can go out of bounds and we got the test models and all that as well. So really fun. All right, let's keep going here. Sorry, Monk. I can't talk at the moment, buddy. <laughs> I uh, got to wrap up this video here. I do apologize to all you guys who try to message me when I'm playing. It's just sometimes I can't respond right away because I'm either away or i'm filming or uh i would i do want to say hi to you trust me okay so we do get stopped here which is very interesting so it's like we left out of bounds and we need to go back inbounds look at that we're hitting a wall so huh i'm really shocked so that okay so that's probably all the walls that we had to pass to get in here so let's actually head around this way and let's go head back to that shipwreck I want to go see if there's anything in that cave that we saw earlier. That's what I'd definitely be curious to see. Look at this little campsite over here. Looks cozy. <laughs> All right. Let's go head back here. And I love these like demon hunter uh, or like the legion props up there. All right, let's go check out this cave over here. This looks like a, a murloc encampment. And I'm, oh man, I'm kind of nervous to go into the cave. Sometimes caves DC. So it didn't actually change our chat either. So it does still know we are on the Broken Isles. So that's good. But nothing did change in there. Let's go head up here. It did change the music, so it did notice that we were in a cave and something was different. But nothing like too crazy, though. But I do want to go ahead inbound here and go see what's exactly out here. So let's go head up this little pathway here. Oh, look at this. So they do keep all of this out here as well. We haven't even explored out here yet, have we? So let's go see what they keep and what they don't. I want to head up here for a minute. Now, unfortunately, too, I think we're also going to hit a bunch of uh, boundary walls as well again, because that's what we escaped out of to begin with. As you can see on the map, we started over here, so hopefully we can actually go around the island here. Okay, yeah, see, we're hitting a wall, but we could fix that. So what we can do is we can place our pillow down and jump on it. And uh, it looks like we're getting stuck by another more walls here. So it looks like we're actually going back inbound. So let's actually head back this way. And we'll just go explore out that way. Instead of actually having to go all the way back in. There we go. So let's go fly over here. Oh gosh. Okay. I, uh, my other fell rush was gone. I was like, oh no. I thought I almost lost it. So I'm trying to give you guys a good angle here of like shots of different things they keep. You know, I'm surprised they keep so much out here, but you know, it is just a copy of the Broken Shore for the most part. It's just not completely loaded in. So, I mean, it does make sense how much they do keep out here. I'm kind of afraid to go down into there because, um... A lot of times underground parts too, Blizzard doesn't keep to save resources. So I don't want to go far too far down into the ground where we can't actually get back up. But we can go walk through here, let's jump back on our mount, and let's go head up over into here and then uh, we'll look to end the video guys. So yeah, I just want to say thank you for joining me on this Artifact Demon Hunter adventure. It's been a lot of fun to explore. 
seeing those test models was definitely the highlight of the uh, map here. Look at that. This is so awesome to be able to explore this. You know, and I'm hoping to definitely do more uh, artifact scenarios and getting out of bounds if I can, especially with the other classes. And it's so weird not seeing all like the fell lava not loaded in. That's strange. That's all missing as well. Let's go head back up into here and then uh, let's end the video. Can we get up here is the question. Uh, shoot. Oh, I think we can walk in here. Yeah, there we go. Should be okay. So that's where we started and where we came from was over there. So we definitely want to wrap around again and let's go check out those test models just one more time. I definitely want to see them up close again. Curious to see like, it's what, you know, I noticed it was only male blood, blood elves, uh, that were up here. So no female models that I could tell. Let's go take a look one more time. Yeah. So it looks just like just blood elf test models, which I think is interesting. So this must've been like a, uh, like a test map out here that they were testing out for Legion. But if anybody knows more information on these, these dudes hanging out out here, I would definitely love to know what is exactly in store here <laughs> for this. So. All right, guys. Well, I just want to say thank you for joining me on this adventure. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to get another screenshot here. Thanks for joining me out here on the Demon Hunter artifact scenario. It's so cool seeing these uh, test NPC models out here. And uh, yeah, guys. So uh, I'm going to continue the Legion videos. I'm hoping to do every single class and see what their scenarios have to offer. Some of them might not be as interesting as others. So I'll definitely check it out first um, a little bit and just kind of scope out things. And then after that, I'll record the videos and uh, I'll upload them here and we can watch them together. So I want to thank everybody who's been supporting the channel. We're up to 7,000 subscribers. That is uh, such a blessing. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting. And uh, as always, guys, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.